Finally, after all these years, Johnny Depp seems to be gradually rising from the ashes. Johnny Depp is releasing an NFT art collection called Never Fear Truth, featuring paintings by the actor himself. NFT stands for non-fungible token, and it's a new way of owning a piece of art in this case that's verifiable online. It has been a tough past few years for Johnny, juggling, rebuilding his career and the chaos he still can't get out of with ex-wife Amber Heard. But with a new movie role and a new venture upcoming, he really seems to be going back up the ladder. So what is this NFT venture? What may this mean for Johnny's future life and career? And does this mean his name will start to be huge again? Let's find out. But before any of that, make sure to hit that subscribe button first and smash that notification bell for more episodes like this. Now, let's dive right in. Johnny Depp has been on a downward spiral lately, especially after he was kicked out of the Fantastic Beast franchise with Mads Milkinson taking over his role. This has been exacerbated by his ongoing conflict with Amber Heard, leading him to publicly claim that cancel culture was the reason he was no longer getting any jobs in Hollywood. Depp insisted that it was an act of injustice to sideline him in such a way after the details about the Amber Heard case came to light. These comments came after it was announced last year that Depp was going to be honored with the Don Astacio Award at the San Sebastian Film Festival. The decision received widespread backlash which made the organizers of the festival come out with a public statement in support of their decision, stating that they were honoring Depp's contribution to cinema. Recently, Depp's longtime friend, Paul Bettany, opened up about the details of the libel trial, which Depp lost after he tried to sue the Sun. Depp had sued the Sun for libel after the newspaper had labeled him a term that really hurt his reputation. And over the course of the same trial, Depp's private messages with Bettany were used as evidence. In a recent interview, Bettany revealed that it was a very strange moment when the newspaper's legal team was reading their private messages aloud in the courtroom. The emails and text messages that the lawyers had access to stretch back to 10 years ago, making Bettany uncomfortable. And the content of some of those messages did not help at all. All these incidents and more were explored in an upcoming documentary series called Johnny vs. Amber, which is being produced by Nick Hornby. While all of this is going on, Depp has decided to hop on the NFT train by releasing his own collection of his personal artwork based on his own friends and heroes. Reports recently stated that Johnny Depp is set to release a collection of non-fungible tokens that feature his friends and heroes in the artwork he personally created. A collection of 11,111 non-fungible tokens called Never Fear Truth are set to launch. The NFTs feature portraits of friends and heroes created using artwork from Depp that was animated to create the digital collectibles. According to Depp, 25% of the profits will go to various charities he supports, including Great Ormond Street Children's Hospital and the Gonzo Trust, and the heroes used in the collection. He also expressed that the latest venture is a manifestation of his love for art, hinting that there are even more NFTs to come. Depp released a statement saying, I've always used art to express my feelings and to reflect on those who matter most to me, like my family, friends, and people I admire. My paintings surround my life, but I kept them to myself and limited myself. No one should ever limit themselves. In turn, we decided to release a series of portraits, but in a way that could also give something back. Having the opportunity to salute my supporters and support the charities that have been so important to my family is an incredible gift. I hope we can create a community of friends around these NFTs. My involvement in the NFT space has just begun, Johnny Depp said, giving some insights into his creative process. The special NFT collection was announced on January 26th to huge applause from the NFT community and collectors, with the demand for access to the Discord channel even causing a short outage. Non-fungible tokens, which are unique digital assets based in the blockchain, are all the rage right now. They've been seized upon by big companies like Disney, and even being used by record labels as the starting point for a Gorillaz-esque band, while undercoming fire from many people including Keanu Reeves particularly over the environmental impact of these tokens. Never Fear Truth official Twitter page tweeted, We knew you would love the truth, but we didn't think it would crash the whole of Discord. Amazing response and an even better journey ahead. Hashtag Never Fear Truth. And a lot of fire emojis, which fits the events perfectly. Johnny sure is on fire. Fans are nothing but delighted and are in full support of Johnny in this venture. One Twitter fan wrote, I don't even know what Discord and NFT are, but I'm joining whatever Johnny wants me to join. While another user said, Johnny broke the internet again. I don't have Discord. I have no interest. Until now. Now I want in. Hear that, Hollywood? Screams volumes. Johnny Depp's still very much loved and in high demand. 
Seems like the NFT is not yet out, but is already gaining tons of fans worldwide. Deb created a Discord server for those who are interested in these NFTs, which has already gotten an immense amount of interest, with the server having over 35,000 members, and that number is unlikely to go down. So, there is clearly a lot of interest in this new venture, but only time will tell exactly what heights the value of these tokens will go to. People featured in the collection include Depp, Marlon Brando, Elizabeth Taylor, Hunter S. Thompson, Heath Ledger, Tim Burton, and Lily Rose Depp. Depp's late dog Mo and his fictional character created by his son Bunny Man are also included in the NFT series. The style of the artwork is a mixture of pop and street art with carefully defined lines and vibrant colors. Each NFT comes with a high-resolution physical edition that can be redeemed one time by the owner for the cost of production and delivery. The Never Seen Before website is launched and the NFTs will also be supported by NFT marketplace Rarible for secondary sales. Due to demand, a raffle will take place to decide who will be able to purchase the NFTs. The raffle closes on February 9th and the NFTs will go on sale to raffle winners on February 17th, 2022. 10,000 NFTs will be available via public sale and 1,111 will be held by DEP to allocate to fans and charities. Each NFT comes with a high-resolution physical edition that can be redeemed one time by the owner for the cost of production and delivery. Apart from this NFT venture, Johnny Depp has also been cast in a new major movie role after being held back from Hollywood for years after the supposed reprising of his role in Fantastic Beast Trilogy's latest installment, which is set to premiere in 2022. The actor has finally landed his first major film role after issues with ex-wife Amber Heard, and amid all the trials and accusations he's facing. Johnny Depp's next project will take the Pirates of the Caribbean actor to France as Johnny Depp is set to star as King Louis XV in a film by French director Mai Wen, who will co-star in the film and act as Jean de Berry, a countess that was Louis XV's last mistress. No plot or title for the film has been released, but it is scheduled to start filming this summer. The movie, whose title and exact plot are kept under wraps, is being produced by Pascal Cacheteau and Gregor Solat's Paris-based Why Not Productions, with Wild Bunch International handling world sales. Johnny, who's been accused by his ex-wife Amber Heard of domestic maltreatment, hasn't made a film since Andrew Levitas' 2020 film Minamata, a film about war photographer W. Eugene Smith. Depp hasn't suffered much blowback in Europe since the charges and his libel fight against the UK tabloid, The Sun. So, to say the least, Johnny is starting to win back what he's lost. Well, that's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that, and make sure to watch our other videos on Johnny Depp's wins and Amber Heard, and hit that like and subscribe button, and smash the notification bell for more videos just like this.